it's Melanie and can you believe March is over it's time for March favorites and I've got some really fun things to show you just some mommy things and some beauty things and then of course my block of the month uh, for March let's get started with mommy things I have two mommy things um, one is this little guy now this is it's on Anyway, this is a ear thermometer. Um, if you are a mommy and you do not have this, you need to go buy one right now. Uh, my son was sick a couple days ago. All of a sudden, he spiked a really high fever, which is very unlike him. He's never had a fever before besides teething. Um, and he's three and a half, so this was kind of new territory for me, and I already had one of these. It was so nice. It was so nice. I could take his temperature. Um, you know, every 20 minutes, you know, when we were trying to get the fever to come down, we were worried about if we had to take him to the doctor or not, and, and so it just really helps when you have a little kid who, first of all, doesn't want to be sitting still. He's kind of weepy and sad and sick, so it's really fast and easy and quick, and it gives you, a, you know, pretty good reading on what it is. I know they're kind of pricey. We got one as a gift um, when my son was born, but I remember seeing they were like $50.00. Even like at Walmart, um, this one's thermo scan by Braun. Uh, but if you are a mommy and you don't have one of these, probably you should get one because it's a great investment. <laughs> the other mommy thing I have is if you follow my blog or on Twitter, Instagram, you will see I got a new purse. Here's my purse. Um, I got it at Ross. It's a Steve Madden bag. Can you see it? The orange or mustard color. Um, I really only have like a couple of purses because generally when I buy a purse I tend to use it for like nine months to a year and then it's trash and I just end up throwing it away. I don't have like a big selection of <laughs> purses really and I've been a mom for three and a half years so I've been carrying around mom stuff. But this one's fun because it's really stylish. It's you know it's nice quality and it's really big so I can throw diapers and snacks and you know anything else that I need in there so that has been a favorite I just got that at the beginning of the month so I don't know you guys have all probably seen this lotion um, this is the only lotion that I use seriously um, March is a really rainy month in Hawaii and so uh, we get a lot of mosquitoes and I've been getting little bites on my legs and uh, this is a really great lotion not only because I live in Hawaii for got the aloe in it for after being out in the sun all day but it's just really nice on my skin and it's really cheap <laughs> I really like that about it and um, this is just like my favorite lotion of all time but this month especially I've been using it extra because of the mosquitoes um, so another favorite um, since I just started doing favorites videos I was gonna like slowly add in some of my all-time favorites and things that I use daily. Um, one of them is um, this watch. This is my Michael Kors watch. Um, I got it at Christmas time. I used some Christmas money and then I like applied for the Macy's card. <laughs> so I was able to get it for not too much money. Although these are expensive watches. Um, one of the definitely Besides my wedding ring, probably one of the most expensive jewelry pieces that I own. Besides maybe a few, you know, heirloom pieces. Um, but I love it. I wear it all the time. It's white. So it's great for Hawaii. Really casual, but it also has the bling, of course. So, anyway, that's a favorite. And then um, another favorite is this perfume. This is Paris Hilton um, Siren. Now, when I first bought this perfume, we, my husband and I went to the like one of those perfume mania outlet stores. <laughs> I had been wanting to get a new one, and um, you know I was talking to the lady about what I like generally, and and so we narrowed it down. I generally like really clean um, smells, maybe slightly citrusy or slightly floral, um, but not too crazy. This one though is much more sweet than I thought I would like. I don't really like um, food flavors sweet for a perfume. I don't mind that for like candles. But um, this one was sweeter than I had originally thought I liked, but it's actually like on the skin, it turns out really nice. 
Um, it is sweet for sure, but um, it's kind of like a, a cleaner sweet. It's not overly floral or a specific flower scent. Anyway, now it's time for block of the month. Um, this month it was string blocks. String blocks are really historic because they are very scrappy and they use up a lot of you know, small pieces and historically that's what quilts were made from. So this is the first one. Um, so you can see all these uh, strings, basically just strips of fabric. And um, this, this is a technique called foundation piecing. So that's what we were working on for this month. So this is all using foundation piecing. But there's that one. And it has this white stripe that's continuous all the way around. And then this other one, which I, I didn't really think I was going to like it that much, but it, I really, really like it actually. It's this one. This is called a broken spider web. Same kind of an idea. We use a slightly different technique. Um, but see all of these strips? It looks a lot harder than it is. <laughs> uh, it looks very, you know, measuring and, and, you know, cutting intensive, but it's really not that bad. So anyway, there's those. Okay, guys, that's it for my favorites. Not too many. I try to keep this short and sweet. Um, leave comments below if you have any questions, want any clarification on anything, or of course you just have any comments. Um, I hope you guys had a great March, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Subscribe.